there's about five or six guys yesterday that did not get in. Clemens, Bonds, Bagwell, Maguire, Sosa. And the belief is they're, they're all kind of alleged steroid guys. But, you know, I, I, I would throw this out to you, is that if there was a porn hall of fame, would Viagra users not get in? If there was a tech hall of fame, everybody's stealing ideas, including Steve Jobs and Apple. There are guys in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, had people write songs for them. Every singer today has auto-tuning. You know what that is? It hits the voices and the, and the notes that you can't. It's called auto-tuning. So the way I look is everybody's gotten help for a long time. I went out this morning and I looked this up. Whitey Ford acknowledges that he doctored the baseball. There was a guy named Pud Galvin, one of my all-time favorites in 1889, if you think steroids are all into the sport because of Jose Canseco, back in 19, 1889, Pud Galvin used brown saccard elixir. That's a code word for testosterone derived from other animals, most notably dogs and guinea pigs. Babe Ruth tried it. So if you think everybody in the hall is clean, you're out of your mind. So if you don't have a complete list of who used and who didn't, just go to the numbers and let them in because you don't have a list. And don't be arrogant enough to think you you know who took it and who didn't. When when A-Rod first got busted, weren't we all surprised? So, so basically what you're – if you really think about – burrow down on this. What you're really saying is the guys who haven't officially been caught were just better liars and more deceptive. What do they always say about, like, cheaters? The best cheaters are consistent cheaters because they know how to cheat. The guy that got, gets busted having an affair isn't the guy that has an affair four times a year. The guy that gets busted having an affair has won his entire life, and he's clumsy and can't hide it. The serial cheater, he's had 15 affairs. He may get caught on the 15th one. So what you're basically saying as a baseball reporter voting on the Hall of Fame is, A, I don't really know who did and who didn't, but I'm going unless I caught you with the people I think did and think didn't. So you're rewarding perhaps the best cheaters. So my point is either don't let any of them in or don't. I would let all of them in because I don't have a list of who cheated and who didn't. I don't have any idea. And I know in 1889, Pud Galvin was using testosterone. Babe Ruth used it. Whitey Ford scuffed balls. You don't know. You know, again, in the Porn Hall of Fame, Blue pill or not? Did you perform? Yep, let them in.